Hello, darling. Hi. Hi, how are you? We are great. We're, we're just... <laughs> we're engaging in eternal ball play. Oh, are you? It's lucky you turned up when you did, Chloe, because these two are about to get into it. You look lovely. Thank you. Probably. Oh, God, now he's got a pair of balls too. They're breeding. Look how good this looks, right? <laughs> Do you like this look? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. I don't. <laughs> Hello? Hey, T. Oh, darling! Why don't you send up Miles first? OK, bye. Right, bye, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Miles, they're ready for me. They're you. ready for me. Oh, is it just Miles? It's just me. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Tom, I love oh, you. Oh, close beans. Chloe. I like you. Oh, we'll see you. about love. Oh. <laughs> Mission. Naughty. Naughty Miles is here to debrief on his date with Chloe. No, not that Chloe. This Chloe. Are you fiery? You'll find out, won't you? Not on first dates. Not on first dates. Maybe later. Hey, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. To be fair, it's hard to shut the door with your balls in your hand. My postman should know. Where do you need me? Please, yeah. right, right here. Right in front of us. <gasps> right here. We're dying to find out, what was she like? She was lovely, you know, very, very pretty, um, you know, hard-working, and I could tell that she has a lot about her, but I... I've dated a Chloe before. You've dated Chloe's? Mm. You haven't dated Chloe. You've never no. met her before. No. So, was that a fair prejudgment? Maybe not, but I also feel like it's unfair if I start talking about some deep things about my life to someone, regardless of what happens, I know that there's nothing, mm -hmm. you know, nothing's going to come from it. Yeah. I don't think you should be open and honest with everyone. Really? Yeah. So you think you should put up a front and lie mm -hmm. to people? Sometimes, yeah. Why? I've had too many people use and abuse me. Oh, Paul's spidey senses are tingling. And people that are, I thought they were very close to me. This is the problem, isn't it? Mm. It's trust. Yeah, I don't trust anyone. What's gone on? I used to open up a lot to people. I used to be very vulnerable. And instead of having your back, they use all of the information that you have to go against you for their own win. My only love was this one girl and a very close friend of mine, and he and her hooked up. It really sucks ass. Yeah. Easy with the psycho babble, Anna. We're not all experts. That fucking killed me. They think, oh, Mars is the party boy, yay. We go out, we have fun, he gets a girl, sweet. And you judge me and you think I'm a certain way. I'm, I'll play up to it then. And I'll show you really what I can do. Wow. So when I'm vulnerable with someone, I'm not telling you my life. I'm not telling you about my family. My family? No. You don't deserve that. On one hand, it's great that Miles is opening up and being vulnerable with us. On the other, it doesn't mean he can be dishonest and behave how he likes on dates. Hopefully, he'll keep that in mind. The challenge that we've had with you, now it makes sense, mm. is around authenticity. Because every time you're on these dates, we're like, ah, oh, we don't know if this is the real Miles, he's running script, he's running game, right? And my hope for you through this process is that you understand, you know what, vulnerability is actually strength. Vulnerability is a very scary word for you, mm. and we need to make it a less scary word and even more a less scary feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Sophie, how are you? You OK, eh? Yeah, very well. Miles, it's me. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. I can't believe we're outside. But... It's cold. I know. I know. I'm going to keep my coat on for now. Yeah, I'm, then... I'm keeping my coat on as well, <laughs> so it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You all right? Yeah, very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. It's yeah. a bit nervous, but... Why are you nervous? You know, it's a bit random, isn't it? But yeah. <laughs> random going on a date with you. Yeah, but OK. It's good. It's all good. <laughs> I'm sure that. you'll be a good date. I hope I am. have got high hopes. Yeah? High Don't let me down. That's no. a lot of pressure. I know. OK, I'll, I'm going to work from this. Looky, looky, here, oh, guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you Beautiful. so much. Oh, my God. Wow, this is this looks amazing. I know, yeah. So these are like a homemade vegetable crisp. Wow. A bit of olives for I've anybody. never actually tasted an olive. You've never had an olive. olive? I just don't think I like it, so that's why I'm really picky. Well, thank enjoy. you. Cheers, mate. Aww. OK, you've never had an olive? No. OK, you're going to have an olive? No. 100% you're going to have an olive. because what about if I can't eat, if I can't swallow it? You like hard or <laughs> soft? Can't have it flopping around. No, you don't. You? This is the sexiest olive content I've seen since Popeye was on TV. You want a hard green olive, though? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> OK, you ready? 
Close your eyes. Why would she hate you? Close your you eyes. Are you actually confused? Yeah, close your eyes. Oh my god, that's cringe. Okay. You ready? Open your mouth. Close, close your eyes. Open your mouth. Open it. Is this still sexy? Okay, now. Oh, chew. I thought the stick <laughs> was still there. What do you... Oh my god. No, 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 it's not sexy anymore. No, it's not. Is that no? There's, there's the napkin. If you, do you want the napkin? No, it's fine. You're gonna swallow it. <laughs> they are so weird tasting. I've just never met anyone who's never even tried an olive. That's because you're posh. You can't tell me olives are posh. <laughs> well, they're posher than frazzles, let's be honest. Thank God I bought a coat. I'm yeah. there in my O poly dress. You look great in your O poly dress. Mm. Yeah, and I, to be fair, I would have, you know, got half naked myself, but um, it is a bit too I'm cold. I'm used to seeing you half naked on Instagram. Oh, are you? Maybe ease off, Sophie. Don't want to come off too keen. Well, I mean, yeah. no one needs to see any more of that. No, no one? No? It's not pleasant? It's good, it's, it's, it's good. good, you know, but good. not on a day. Not on a day. Not on a day. No, That's not... a bit too much. OK, so she definitely follows you. Quick change of subject, maybe, Miles? What is a, a no-go? What's the ick? You know, like, stories of gyms on Instagram? I'm joking. Wow, someone's been observing. <laughs> <laughs> From afar. I'm joking, I'm joking. No, um... Half-naked pictures at the gym. No, please. To be fair, I don't follow you, but I could predict the banal shit you pump out. You are my type, so... Uh, I... Am I? Yeah. Absolute fuckboy, but I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I'm going for. Oh, really? Fantastic. OK, OK. <laughs> OK, so, do you think I'm a fuckboy? Well, obviously, it's just what you said. I know it's not everything to what you see on TV. So yeah. I'm you know, I'll get to know you a bit more tonight. OK. See what you really like. You've definitely seen me quite a bit on TV, right? I do watch me in chat, so yeah. If that's the case, you should know exactly how Miles Nazaire acts the moment he loses interest in a date. Obviously, they perceive you as, like, the guy that comes in, steals girls. Yeah. Breaks up relationships. Yeah. But... But you like that. <laughs> to be fair to you, though, I don't think you've actually done anything wrong. You're actually the one who got it on the day. I, I did. But, yeah. Cheers to that. There we go. There you go. And right. everyone forgets that. Mm. Can you just down it? <laughs> Come on, I want to see Crazy Mars. You want to see Crazy Mars? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Sophie and I are having a great day in the beginning, but it quickly turned into her wanting to have a meet and greet with Mars from me and Chelsea. But you're more chilled than I thought you'd be. I don't want to show the crazy side straight away because you'll be a bit deterred. You'll be like, oh, this is a bit. I don't think I will. Really? Is it no. because you're cra your fellow crazy person? Uh, maybe, <laughs> although I can play it. I'm not obviously like psycho and jealous crazy. I'm not like that. And I'm willing to bet her Mars is their duvet cover. She's full of shit. So you like brunettes with blue eyes? Mm -hmm. That was my ex. Oh, yeah. Anyway, she is. Forward. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's really pretty, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were you expecting me to be the way I am? No, you're actually more serious than I thought you'd actually be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we've had like quite a good yeah, conversation. Have. Obviously, not too intense. Not as intense. Not as intense. You got. You got to ease it in. There's, uh, you've got to have a nice conversation, go a bit deep, and then the naughty side can show a little bit. <laughs> Not too deep. Not too deep. Not too deep. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Feel free to wrap this up any time, Miles. But yeah, so no, I've, I've had a great time. Have you? Yeah. Enjoyed it? Yeah, have you not? Best day ever. Yeah. I mean, there's no need for flat out lying. I think we want to see the fuckboy Mars side, because that's what you like. Yeah, look, look. I don't look. know. I honestly didn't know what to expect. I need to work on this whole not being that guy, because obviously it's been four years and it's not going very well for me. OK. Yeah, he has to put pseudo cream on his knob and balls every night and morning, sometimes lunchtime. I think I've seen a nice side to you tonight. Oh, I'd rather that. Still sexy. Yeah? That nice side. <laughs> <laughs> sexy but nice. Sexy but nice. OK, OK. Good. Yeah, why not squeeze a few more compliments out of her before you never call her? OK, come on, last wig. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> yep, she's got to get homemade in Chelsea's on soon. <laughs> this has been great. It was lovely meeting you. I feel like I didn't quite see the whole bad boy thing with Miles tonight. Obviously, I'm used to it from Aiden in Chelsea, and maybe that's not exactly what he is like, but maybe then the next day I'll be able to see a bit more of that with him. Go and say. Next day? Who's that with? See you around. I feel like after I saw she was a bit of a fan, I... I don't want to say I switched off. I actually genuinely tried to have fun and be myself. And, you know, it also makes me go, well, I know the ending of this story and it's not a happy ending.
Well, not for her, no.